Hey, it's Steve Spangler from the Spangler Effect with another cool activity from our demo lab. Uh, I want a big shout out to Bruce Yaney with Homemade Science. Bruce is a friend from many, many years ago. We collaborated on soda bottle science toys. Together, uh, he uh, invented the, uh, the fountain connection, those two bottles that you hook together and it creates Heroes Fountain inside. We've asked Bruce to be a consultant for us on DIY Sci, our, uh, our new show, our syndicated show on Fox. And so uh, this is directly from the show. I had it uh, out and, and all the pieces out and wanted to show it to you as part of this series as well. It's a popper, and he's done just a really great job of, uh, of showing how to do this. First of all, here's how the popper works. Here's the device itself. So the uh, little plug goes into it like this, and here we go. Three, two, one. Up. Man, it's a good popper. Should have cups here and knocking stuff over, but it's a great, great popper. So, and I'll show you how easy it is to make the plugs as well. All because of uh, kind of Bruce's genius. All right, so here's uh, here's what it looks like. Let me show you out of this piece of PVC. I think this is a one inch piece of PVC. Notice the very end right here. He has flared this in. So using a grinder, he ground away the inside of it so that wall is a little thinner up top than it is down here. That now causes the little um, plug that we're going to, uh, to make here to be able to uh, stick in there and be fairly tight. So if I want to make another one, for example, with this one here, I'm using this insulation material from the hardware store. So the trick here is to put it in and turn. So kind of press it in like this, you press it in and twist at the same time. It cuts it out, that's perfect. And so that is the plug. So when you pull back here, I'll show you how to make the plunger, but there's a little opening here so the air can kind of come out. And then it's uh, it's got a good, uh, good amount of pressure on it. When you push there, there's some resistance. Mm, that is a good one. Okay, so let me show you uh, kind of the intricacies of it. First of all, you saw the uh, the piece of PVC on the very end there. He's put a little ring uh, that will hold the plunger in place. I'm going to show you another version of this, but for his original version with the plunger and kind of give credit for his invention, I just want to show you what the original one looks like. The plunger is a piece of dowel rod, and you can see the uh, the bigger piece of wood that's on here. To, in order to make it a better seal inside, he's using this foam packing material and uh, using it as kind of a seal here. So there's a washer, an eye hook, and he pushes that down. You'll see why in a second that eye hook is can be useful. This is going to go down here like this and see if we can now have it pop out this other side here. Got it. And then, oh, that's great. You can kind of hear it. Listen, you can hear it moving the air. Then a little handle because he's fancy and he's got this on it here. So that really is a great popper, okay? Now, another way to be able to do this is to find two pieces of PVC that, so you don't have to make that plunger out of the dowel. And in doing so, he's using some thin-walled PVC. When you're in that aisle, you'll find some low-pressure PVC. This is typically stuff that you find for drains and in motorhomes, things like that. Sometimes it's a little bit more yellow, but it's thin walled material here. He did the same thing and found another piece of PVC that fits in just beautifully. So the whole thing is made out of PVC, which I think is great. And again, you've got the end here. You uh, can use this little guy. So here's our little plug. And here we go. Mm, that's a good one. Great, great, great popper. Okay, so perfect. Uh, so you have both of those, but I, I liked this part as well is the uh, idea of a repeater. You have to go and you have to get the little plugs that you're shooting all over the place. So this is his repeater, same as before, but now that little eye hook has a piece of uh, string hooked onto it and that's where the cork sits. So now it's easy to be able to put the cork in like this and put that in place. That's great. I know it's not annoying, I can just sit here forever and all right, it's annoying, but there is your popper. So a great way to be able to do this, it reminds me of a potato launcher, um, that original clear kind of PVC potato launcher with the two pieces of potato on either end. Uh, but if you're teaching properties of air or you're just trying to make a cool project to decorate it however you want, it's a great way to be able to make a popper out of PVC and one that really has a tremendous amount of power. As a, ooh, I got you, didn't I? <laughs> I hit him. As always, visit stevespanglerscience.com for uh, additional experiment ideas. Join us on our other channels. Uh, subscribe. If you're not subscribed to this one, please do. Subscribe to Six Science or Spangler Science TV. You can find us uh, slash Steve Spangler almost everywhere. Remember, do everything possible to make science fun.